Welcome to Jackal DIY and Tech! I got a genius idea of what to do with this office PC. This PC is meant to be for office use and light use. The CPU inside is an Intel Celeron G5925, so it's a 2 core 2 threads CPU and it has built in GPU. This PC does have 16 GB of memory which is more than enough for what we'll be doing and that's about it. It has a fan on the bottom, I had to fix it up a little bit. I put some silicone washers in between, the ones that you usually use on mechanical keyboards, just like this one. And now what I'll be doing with this PC, well it's best if I show you. But I have to give it power. And as you can see, the keyboard is not plugged in and I'm not touching anything. This is the mouse to the PC, not doing anything. And what we'll see now is... Just a moment. A website automatically launching, so this will now be kind of like an IPTV box, so you can simply then use the mouse, uh, turn it on, and watch anything that you want. Now in this case I do have the subscription for this IPTV stuff, but this is what I'll do. I'll simply hook it up to the TV, and this will be a TV box, so you can watch any TV channel, well at least the TV channels that I have available, which is quite a lot. And this will be a lot better solution than just watching the few channels that we get via the antenna. Now for the next step I will show you how to set this up and I do need the keyboard for this because currently as you can see the browser is also going full screen automatically. So I can't just close this browser. I'll put you a bit closer so that you can see because I don't have OBS installed on this PC. So the keyboard is now plugged in. I still can't do anything with this window so I have to use Alt F4 to close it. Now one thing that I have done because this PC won't be using a keyboard is to add the virtual one down the bottom but even though I have added it I can't actually access it because the browser will go immediately into full screen and you can't really disable it. But what it does, let me just show you. So this is how this website will look like. So as you can see we have the line above and if I press F11 this will go full screen. But this is not the same full screen as the one that we'll be using because at the moment I can press F11 to switch between the two modes but later on I will not be able to. So when you turn on the PC, this will automatically launch the browser and go to the website that we specify and it will also open it in full screen. So first what you have to do is go into window, type in run. Once you have the run opened up, type in shell, colon, startup. This will open the startup folder. As you can see I have the shortcut in. To add a shortcut, any shortcut, simply right click, go to new, shortcut, find the app that you want to launch. Maybe in this case I will find the Microsoft Edge. That will be under this PC, C, program files, Internet Explorer and this would be I Explorer. Click OK. Next. You can give it a name. I'll just call it Test EX. And now at the moment if I would just turn off and turn on the PC 
both of these would launch and if I launch the Explorer this is what it would show up so I suggest the first time you set everything up so you don't have anything that you don't want so that is the basic setup now if you have an IPTV go to the link that is provided by the ISP login save the login information and then you will simply right click on the file go to properties I'll just show you in this case so properties you will have the path so the target or the destination it will be C program files in this case it's Google Chrome application and chrome.exe and for the Chrome you have to add a space dash dash kiosk space and the link to the website that you want to open and that's all you have to do and just remember that I have to delete this so only open one web page one more thing that you can do is go to the power settings so this is energy so in this case I want additional or advanced energy use and what you want to do is adjust what the power button does in this case when I press the power button it simply turns off the system which is exactly what I want I don't want to do anything else so that is good and that is basically the setup and now all that you need is a wireless mouse this one's a cheapy so I don't know if it is any good in a 3 meter span radius so that you don't have to go close to the TV to control it and maybe also one last thing that you may need to do is adjust the mouse size so let's go down here all settings type in mouse mouse settings change from mouse settings let's go with this one change the mouse and the cursor size So because you'll be using this on the TV, most likely you want a big cursor so that you know where it is and you can also change the color to anything that you want. And I think that should be it. I'll just have to test it out how it actually works when I connect it to the TV. If the mouse button is too big, I'll simply scale it down. If you want any more of the DIY and tech tips, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.